In this video, I'm going to talk about how to calculate the network address from a given IP address and subnet mask. Let's take an example. The given IP address in this case is 192.168.3.65 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. Note that I'm using a class C IP address. The first IP address, the first octet of this IP address defines its class, and it's the class C IP address. And the default subnet mask for class C IP address is 255.255.255.0. The process is uh, quite straightforward. Each octet of an IP address relates to each octet of the subnet mask. For example, the octet 255 relates to the first octet 255 in the subnet mask so is related to the first octet of the IP address. The third octet of the subnet mask is related to the third octet of the IP address and the fourth octet of the subnet mask is related to the fourth octet of the IP address. Now if you have a 255 in the subnet mask octet then the corresponding IP address octet is part of the network address. You just need to copy the IP address value in the network address below. So let's try to construct the network address. So the first octet of the subnet mask is 255. So we straight copy this number from the IP address 192. The second octet is also 255. So you copy 168. The third octet in the, in the subnet mask is also 255. So you copy the third octet from IP address, which is 3. If you have a 0 in the subnet mask, then the corresponding IP address octet is 0. Okay, so in this example, we have the fourth octet in the subnet mask as 0, so the corresponding network address in the fourth octet should be 0. Right. So you got the network address from the given IP address. The given IP address is 192.168.3.65 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. So the network address is 192.168.3.0. Let's take another example. So the IP address is 200.3.255.255.0. And the subnet mask is, let's say, 255.255.255.0. So the network address will be, um, look at the subnet mask, 255, the first octet, so you copy the network address, 200. Second octet, we also copy from the IP address. For the third octet, we also copy from the IP address and the fourth object subnet mask is zero, so it was zero. Alright, this is a class C network address example, and we use the default subnet mask. Let's take another example for class B address. So let's say network address, so IP address is I want to take class B, so 172.16.34.62. And the default subnet mask for class B would be 255.255.0. Again, in the same process, if you have a 255 in any octet, then the corresponding octet in the network address should be the same as the value of IP address. So the network address would be 172.16.0.0. Right. <coughs> uh, let's take a say IP address 110.7237. Now the subnet mask is this is a class A. I'm taking the default subnet mask 255.0.0.0. So the network address would be the first octet is 255 in the subnet mask. So I copy the IP address value under 10 and then 
the last three octets are zero in the second half, so I put zero octet zero octet zero. All right, so these are the examples of default subnet mask case. Um, how about the subnet mask is not the default subnet mask? Let's take an example. Let's say the given IP address is 192.168.1445.173 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.192 Now in this case, to find the network address we follow the same rules for the subnet mask octet that are 255 and 0 but if we have something else in the subnet mask other than 255 and 0 then we have two additional steps to follow so let's try to construct the network address the first octet in the subnet mask is 255 the first Octet of the network address would be 192 from the IP address, the second octet 168 from the IP address, third octet is 145 from the IP address, and the fourth octet is um, unknown for now, but we're going to find it. So the octet that is neither a 0 nor a 255, we take this octet value and we subtract this octet value from, from 2. 5, 6. <clears throat> so 256 minus 192. Now this gives you a subtraction result of 64. I would, now I will calculate different multiple of this 64. I call this a 64 as chunk. Now different multiple of 64. The first multiple with 0 times 64 is 0. 1 times 64 is 64. 2 times 64 is 128. 3 times 64 is 192, 4 times 64 is 256. Look at this number. This number 256 is out of our IP address range. The maximum IP address value any octet can be 255. We already reached out of the bound. So this is invalid, but this is an indication that we are done with the jump. Okay, now out of these numbers, we have to focus on the IP address value on the octet value we are calculating. So in this case, 173. Now we have all these jumps, and these jumps actually represent different subnet addresses on the fourth octet. The first subnet address is 0, the second subnet address is 64, third subnet address is 128, fourth subnet address is 192. Now, for the given IP address, we don't have really four subnet addresses. We have just one subnet address. And this specific address, 173, is in one of these four subnets. The first subnet's IP range starts from 0 and goes up to 63. The second subnet starts at 64. So the previous subnet ends at 63. The third subnet starts at 128. So the second subnet ends at 127. Second subnet IP range it starts from 64 and goes up to 127. So the third subnet's IP range starts from 128 and goes up to 191. And the fourth subnet's IP range starts from 192 and goes up to 255. Now this, we have to just map this 173 in which subnet this 173 fits. You see that 173 is in this range. So the subnet address is here 128. <clears throat> Alright, so the network address or subnet address for this given IP address and subnet mask is 192.168.145.128. 256 minus 24 which is 32. Now I calculate different multiples of this chunk. The first one is 0, second 32, the third one is 64, 32 times 2 is 64, 32 times 3 is 96, 32 times 4 is 128, 32 times 5 is 160, 
and so on now we don't need to go all the way to 256 always look at this number where should we stop this is our uh, non-zero non 255 octet which is the third octet and the IP address on the third octet is 23 you stop right when you your multiple goes above this number 23 you don't need to go any further to find the multiples but in this case we didn't need to go all these multiples we could stop right after 32 because 32 is above 23 now this number 23 is in between this number 0 and 31 our number 23 is in this range so the network address for this specific given ip address is this first number of this range which is 0 so you construct the network address we found it as a 0 let's take another example <coughs> with a different IP address uh, this time I'm going to take 123 same but the third octet is 123 all right uh, network address would be 170.45 dot unknown for now and then zero so the jump is Two five six minus two to four, which is thirty two as before. Now different multiples of this jump thirty two starting from zero and then thirty two. And where do we stop? Look at the number is on third octet, so you stop as soon as we go over one twenty three. So as before, six to four and then ninety six and then one twenty. Eight. We are already over 123, so you stop here. And so our given IP address, we are trying to find the third octet of the network address. Our given IP address is 123 on the third octet, which is in the range from 96 to 127. So the network address on the third octet would be 96 all right we got the network address this one let's take another example of class a let's say our given uh, ip address is 120.134.96 and the second mask 255 dot let's say 240 now as before the address would be 120 and then unknown and then 0 dot 0 now for the third or second update uh, jump equal 256 minus 240 which is equal to 16. Now you need to find out different multiples of 16 and go above 134. If I go to different multiple of 16 starting from 0 and then 16 and then 32 and keep going you can use the calculator and I will eventually come to 128. 128 plus 16 is 144. Okay, you see that uh, our given IP is 134. We are already over 134. We have reached 144. We don't need to check any further. Now, this 134 is in the range of 128 and 144. 43. So the network address on this third octet would be 128. 
Okay, the next video will see how to calculate the broadcast address from any given IP address and submit mask.